excited to bring you your Juliet Cookie Questions webinar. I'm so excited to see that so many of you all have joined us this afternoon. Um, we are happy to be able to bring you details and answer a few questions that you may have about the cookie program. Your presenters today are going to be myself, Zanetta Daniels. I'm our Juliet Program and External Volunteer Coordinator, as well as Sarnethia Sykes, who's over our products programs. If you can hear me, if you can just click the wave button or send um, a detail in the meeting chat to make sure we have sound working. The chat on your computer may look like a square with two lines. Awesome, loud and clear, great. So today we're gonna talk about what the Juliet Cookie Program is. We're gonna outline what we do in each phase of the program. Identify the tools and resources that are available to you. Explain how to manage the task that you'll be responsible for and give you specific next steps to take after leaving this training today. So in that same chat box where you just typed that you can hear, feel free to ask any questions that you may have experienced along the way and myself or Sarnethia will do our best to answer those during this uh, live presentation. Um, for everyone to get through, we are just requesting that you go ahead and mute your line. Everyone should be muted for now. Um, so we're, if you have questions about how to mute your line, um, it should be a speaker, looks like a, a oval and a U. So please ensure that your lines are muted so that all can hear and there's no feedback. We are also going to record this webinar um, so that other Juliet parents and adults like yourself are able to access this resource in the future. Um, so this is going to be a great tool to answer any other future questions. So as you just saw, our cookie program isn't just about selling cookies, right? Our goal is to help girls wow the world. Um, and this year, our theme is the butterfly. We want girls to learn how to grow, learn, and make a real impact through the cookie program. So we're excited to have the girls participate as well as yourself. Um, and this is this year's theme as the butterfly. So what's in a box of cookies? Is it just sweet treats that we all enjoy? Yes of course, but also life skills, adventures, friendships, and even other experiences that'll help shape your girl for a lifetime. Here's an awesome video that once we have this presentation live, you'll be able to view. It's really impactful. Feel free to share it with family and friends um, because it really does discuss and portray how girls learn through the process of the cookie program. So what role do you have, right? That's why we're all here today. What am I supposed to do? Uh, what are next steps? How can I get my questions answered? So you are the Troop Cookie Manager. Congratulations, you've been promoted. Um, in a nutshell, what does that mean? You collect girl orders and submit them in eBuddy. You pick up the cookies at Count and & Go and at Cookie Cupboards. You schedule and host cookie booths. Yes, Juliet's can do cookie booths. You input the girl's reward, and you don't have to worry about this tab as far as distributing cookies. This is more so for troops, groups of girls, um, where one manager would have to distribute, so don't worry about that. And you collect and deposit the money for the product distributed. So those are your primary tasks. With that, we don't ever want to have to do leadership alone. Um, we're excited to offer you the opportunity to earn Cookie Octopreneur Family Pins. This is a good way to get everybody involved in the cookie program. Feel free to visit girlscouts.org slash Octopreneur Family um, to look at more details on how your girl can earn these pins at each level. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in. 
Um, I've gotten a lot of emails from you all over the past few weeks with some frequently asked questions. So I wanted to go ahead and list those questions here so that as you review your, your journey in the cookie program, you can refer to this tool for those answers. Um, the first of which is about taking orders. What do I need? You each should have re uh, received a parent permission form and entered 000 as the troop number um, and my email address as the cookie volunteer. So one of the questions I got is why do I enter 000? This number is just a placeholder, which rolls into the next question about troop numbers for Juliet. The troop number listed is only for identification purposes. Juliet's are individually registered members, so the troop that she's a part of is simply an identification number. It isn't a traditional troop. Um, for the cookie program, do you use your own bank account? Yes. This actually simplifies the process uh, for a lot of adults, but if you would like, you do also have the option to create a separate account with the bank of your choice and use that in place of your own personal account. How do you pick up cookies? You're going to use our awesome e technology tools. You would be responsible for picking those orders up at Count and Go and Cookie Cupboards. Um, and can I use digital cookie without eBuddy registration? No. As you can see here, you do have to use the eBuddy registration tools so that you can put in your rewards and pick up those cookies. Um, what are the Juliet cookie rewards? Do individual girls receive monetary proceeds from their sale? This by far is one of the most asked questions. Um, and the answer is that Juliet's are able to earn every reward that traditional Girl Scouts are able to receive. So this is very exciting. Um, and do individual girls receive the monetary proceeds from their sale? So no girls across Girl Scouts uh, received individual monetary proceeds. The proceeds from their cookie sales go to their troop. And similarly, the proceeds from your sale would go to the Juliet program. So girls in the Juliet cookie program would be able to, um, and those even who don't participate, may be able to request a high awards grant, um, also attend different fun activities. Some of you may have attended our movie meetups or our bridging ceremony that will be at the end of the year. We're also planning an awesome celebration for any Juliet who even sells one box of cookies. And we'll talk about that a little bit more later. So can Juliet's host cookie booths? What do they wear? Absolutely, we're excited this year to bring the opportunity to Juliet's to lead at cookie booths. Um, they would wear their traditional uniforms. You're welcome to read over those details here. Visit your local badge and sash should you need those items. And if you have more questions, which undoubtedly we all do, you're welcome to email me or put them in our chat log as we go along, and I'd be happy to answer them. But your first line of answers is going to be your Troop Cookie Manager Guide. So this is an e-tool that answers everything that we're talking about in this webinar today. So be sure to refer to that manager's guide prior to reaching out, just because you could have the answer likely a lot quicker uh, than emailing us. All right, so some of you all may have received a mail link. Um, if you go went ahead and got your parent permission form in earlier, um, you may have received a mailing, or if you got your job form in before yesterday, you may receive a mailing this week. Some of the items you may have received include an order card, a goal getter order card, three door hangers, you may receive uh, smiles for military pamphlet, gold poster, receipt book, right? All of these things are tools that you can use to get your girl started for her cookie program. On that order card, you'll see lists of cookies where you write the name down of those who are purchasing, methods of payment, and all of these resources are printable and also available online. So should your girl fill up her order card, Feel free to just visit our website and go ahead and print another um, so that she can continue on her sales and you don't miss a beat. So let's get to the good stuff. What are the cookies that we have to offer? Along with our traditional cookies that you may be familiar with, like Samoa's, S'mores, Thin Mints, 
we are also offering a new top secret cookie, which is awesome. And each of these cookies that are traditional, your Samoas, Tagalongs, do -si dos Treffle Wells, Thin Mints, those are each $4 a box. And the S'mores, Toffee Tastic, those are cookies are going to be $6 a box. So here's our new awesome cookie. It's called the Lemon Up. Um, this is a signature cookie that's coming out. It'll be sold along with the core cookies. I believe it's $4 a box. Sarnithia, correct me in the chat um, if that's not correct. Um, but they should be $4 a box. So we're very excited to bring these. Each cookie has an awesome um, message on it. Like, I am a leader. I am strong. I'm creative. You can see each of those there with those Girl Scouts. So we're very excited to bring uh, this lemon up to our Girl Scouts. And I just did get the confirmation that these are a part of the $4 per box group, which is awesome. Yeah, I have a back and get back in. So now I'm going to turn it over to Sarnethia Sykes who is um, our product programs manager. She's going to talk a little bit about um, the tools that you have available and give you some details on uh, the eBuddy as well as digital cookie and next steps there. Hello, can everyone hear me? Maybe someone can type in the chat box to make sure that I'm vocal. Okay, wonderful. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we're gonna discuss the cookie program in four phases to hopefully break it down and make it a little um, easier to digest. Uh, so there is a little moment before the program begins that we usually start talking about cookies is coming, get ready and start some of the training, which is October to December. 31st. Uh, January 1st through the 19th is our initial order phase where girls are essentially going around with their order cards, getting those pre-orders from customers and qualifying for some special rewards. The goal getter phase is a phase in which uh, girls will be continuing their sales efforts uh, right up until the point where they are able to get cookies in hand. Um, after that, uh, the girls have those cookies, they're delivering to their initial order customers, and we see them outside of storefronts doing direct sales in front of stores like Walgreens and Kroger's and things like that. And that is February 10th through March 16th, at which the program closes out. Those girl rewards have been ordered and are starting to ship within a few weeks after that to the service units or to you all um, and Zanetta uh, to reward those girls for all of the great work that they've done. All right, during that initial order phase at January 1st through the 19th, uh, you all as Troop Cookie Managers and parents are gonna be helping your girls set goals. You're gonna be tracking those uh, boxes that she's selling along the way. You're gonna submit those orders into that Troop operating system, which is eBuddy and um, contacting those customers um, ongoingly to let them know that those orders have been placed and those cookies are on the way. January 1st, the program begins. And again, this is where you're gonna start taking around that order card to those customers that you're gonna be selling to in person. Girls at this time can also uh, begin their online sales efforts through Digital Cookie, which is a girl-led um, online program, which essentially allows her customers to purchase online. eBuddy is the technology that's gonna fuel um, the cookie program as far as the management tool for a troop cookie manager. So this is where you're gonna track sales. This is where you're gonna order the girl rewards. Um, this is where you're going to manage payments and what's due to Greater Atlanta, as well as keep tabs on your daughter's contribution into that larger Juliet pot that Zanetta spoke about. 
uh, digital cookie. Again, allows girls to run their um, own cookie business online. Our customers have the opportunity to purchase uh, cookies that they'll either order to be shipped directly to them. They can make uh, cookie donations to our Smiles for Military program in which the end of the season, uh, the council collectively places one huge order and gets those cookies to our military partnering organizations and they go all over the world. Um, the customers also have the option to pay online and request um, that the girls deliver those cookies in person. So three options for the customers to support girls and their goals. Through the setup that you'll work through with your daughter um, for her digital cookie account, if you all do decide to sell online, looks a little similar to this. She'll put in her goal, what she wants to do. She'll have opportunity to tell her story. So what's her mission, why she's selling cookie, what she wants to do, learn, contribute. She can upload a photo or video to better express to her customers um, her excitement about the program or what she wants to do throughout. You as a parent, uh, along with your third daughter, will publish that site once it's ready and all the content is available and she'll be ready to start sending those emails to customers for them to purchase directly online to meet her goal. Digital Cookie um, actually talks to eBuddy, that troop operating system. So those orders that come through from those customers for those shipped donation and girl delivery orders, uh, you'll see indications of those in eBuddy on the initial order tab, as well as the girl order tab, as well as those payments that have been posted. So you'll get credit for all of that um, in the system. Uh, go back one more, um, just once, back once. Uh, I do want to point out for right there, uh, for the delivered in-person option, that's uh, customer driven. So when a girl sends that marketing email, they'll see uh, an order card similar to what you see on the left side of the screen. Uh, once they get to check out for the delivery method, if they're choosing to say, hey, I'm going to pay online, but I'd like to see my girls got delivered my cookies in person, they get to make that choice. Um, as it indicates on the screen, because uh, that might not be feasible, uh, depending on who they are, uh, where they live for a girl and parent, they are also going to have to make a secondary choice at the point that they're checking out. So uh, what you'll see on the right side of the screen and that pink box says, um, if the girl and parent essentially can't deliver your cookies to you in person, would you like to A, donate your cookie order or cancel that order altogether? So they'll make that first, choice of how they'd like to receive those cookies, uh, as well as that secondary choice up front if they're requesting girl delivery. And you as the parent get notification from Digital Cookie and says, hey, uh, Ms. Johnson wants to wants you to, to deliver those cookies in person. Is this something you can do or not? Uh, you as a parent have the responsibility of going in and say yes or no. If you say yes, um, that transaction is posted to your daughter's account. It's also posted to eBuddy. If you say no, no, it will show you what her secondary choice is, so you can make an educated decision, but she might live 50 minutes away and it's just not feasible where well, you'd have to turn down the delivery. Um, and in most cases, people do choose to make a donation, so your daughter still gets credit for those um, boxes and the donation goes into that Smiles for Military pot um, that we send to our partnering organizations. All right, and that screenshot is just kind of showing you what that looks like when those orders do come through for you to approve. Um, it'll tell you when it was placed, how it was placed. You'll get to see the number of boxes that are on the line, so to speak. So if you were choosing to um, decline in-person delivery, let's say for John Public, that we can see right there, uh, your daughter might be potentially losing 12 boxes in sales, but you'll be able to see all that information in your uh, parent account for Digital Cookie. All right, uh, for those online sales that she's making specifically, she gets to earn some additional special rewards just for online efforts. So for sending 30 emails, she'll get a patch for 65 boxes online. She'll get that um, foldable glow in the dark frisbee, 100 boxes, she gets the phone stand, 150 boxes, she gets the disco ball. And these are in addition to all of the other items she'll qualify. These are just solely for special rewards for her efforts, like I said, online through Digital Cookie. 
Uh, so let's go through some quick little facts that digital cookies only the one method of order taking. Um, it's a great marketing tool. It's a great way for girls to expand their horizon, but their order card is still uh, a great sales tool as well. And actually it's the best sales tool still. Uh, digital cookies open to any age level Girl Scout. So Daisy all the way up through Ambassador can use that as an online tool. And uh, every girl who sets up an account has her special uh, unique URL that's just for her. So whether that's shared on Facebook or through the email system, digital cookie, um, anyone who clicks her link uh, is going to be contributing to her individual sales efforts and goals. Um, all of those cookies online through digital cookie are paid for. So whether they're shipped, donated, or that uh, in-person delivery request, every person is paying for those orders online, okay? If a customer chooses that girl delivery option, those charges are gonna be pending until you as a parent confirm whether you can app uh, approve that for delivery or whether that's just not feasible. Cool. You'll have five days to approve or decline that delivery. Um, Let's see, you'll have access to, uh, again, see that information populated over into eBuddy. Uh, the money gets posted um, every time those purchases are made. So uh, that's less money you're physically collecting and money we're crediting you for because the payment has already come through. Um, and that box credit is going to come through during that initial order phase on the initial order line. So in instances where you are approving for girl delivery, of course, those are physical boxes that you need in addition to whatever you're taking using your girl order card. You don't have to worry about remembering what those boxes are, trying to go grab it and enter it. It's going to automatically populate on your initial order tab for you. So the only entry you'll be doing for this part of the program is specifically what you're collecting on that physical order card. Everything else is going to show up automatically. Next. For uh, her special efforts during this January 1st or the 19th, she's going to earn some additional special rewards, and these are for total boxes. So whether these are online or in person through her order card, uh, for a total of 170 boxes um, through the 19th, she'll qualify for the patch. 190 boxes, she'll get the carabiner. In 230 boxes, she'll get the water bottle. All the rewards are cumulative. So if she gets to 230 boxes during this time, she'll get all three items, in addition to um, all of the other final reward items available. Your initial orders are placed in eBuddy. And again, we're going to be using the initial order tab to do that. Uh, the only girls in your troop are your daughters, so that'll be really easy uh, to calculate that initial order. Uh, what we typically tell um, a troop is, so not only are you considering what you've collected on the girl order card, if you intend to do some cookie boots, you'll want to go ahead and think about what kind of inventory you need for those and try to estimate what you might want to have on hand for hosting at least two cookie booths. Now, these numbers are going to vary just a little bit because those calculations are based on um, a troop of eight, and most of you are a troop of one. Uh, so just be modest, um, be considerate. Again, if you're planning booths, it's nice to go ahead and include that in your initial order so you don't have to run back to a cupboard location a week and a half later to get additional items. You'll enter those boxes. You'll submit that cookie order. You'll confirm the rewards that your girl would have earned up until this point, and then you'll choose a pickup location to get those physical boxes during our count and go process. Next. Okay. So, Anifia, before we yeah. go forward, Nancy had a question. Is there a fee for the online payment credit card processing, I presume, from a customer facing perspective and what is the shipping fee if that customer chooses to have those boxes shipped to them shipping is varied i'll look up the actual box count but there is no um processing fee for the customer uh, greater atlanta absorbs the credit card fees because there are fees uh, associated with taking those payments online but we uh, manage and process those so the troop nor the customer ever sees those fees for digital cookie um, i will say there is a four box minimum for customers choosing to um, have cookies shipped so they at least have to get four boxes um, this year there's also a really great um, addition where they can order a gift box for their cookies if they so choose and I will check on the shipping price 
I'll pull up a file and I'll put that in the chat for you all. Um, and I will tell you ahead of time, of course, the shipping fees are not uh, Amazon Prime fees. Uh, it is true shipping cost of um, sending, again, a minimum of uh, four boxes, you know, kind of anywhere over the country. So it's going to be between like nine and twelve dollars, but I'll pull up my actual um, chart and paste it in the chat once I get it. OK, thank you. You're All welcome. Right. Oh, let me go back one, just one more uh, pace. Uh, we talked to wrap up that initial order phase. Um, the deadline to get those initial orders in is January 19th at 1159 p.m., which is really, really critical. Um, so if you are struggling or have questions, it'd be best not to wait until 1158 uh, to just begin entering your orders into eBuddy because you probably won't finish um, and the system is going to lock you out. So uh, make sure you spend a little time getting familiar with the system prior to that date and time. Um, you can always reach out to uh, Zanetta, but more specifically, especially if it's eBuddy related um, and you need help just kind of functioning and operating, you'll want to send those questions to Cook at gsgatl.org um, and that gets you in line with the cookie team. So that's myself and a four other member team who are well versed in the system and can help you through whatever you need assistance with. OK. All right. OK, we have one more question from Amanda. Mm -hmm. She says if we include cookies needed for booths in the troop initial order, mm -hmm. do those cookies count towards the initial order rewards for our Juliet? They do. Everything, every box entered on the um, initial order um, screen. And let, I'm going to clarify. Clear, um, sorry, let me back up. They do. So you'll see, um, I know we don't have eBuddy pulled up, but um, hopefully you've looked at it once and you kind of visualize with me. If you're on that initial order um, screen, you're entering cookies for your specific daughter. So you should be on the line with her name where it says order card. Um, typically speaking in the traditional sense, booth cookies will end up getting placed on the booth line of that initial order tab because the troop is ordering those up front and they're gonna end up divvying out that box credit later because they don't know which girls are gonna attend the booth. But you do because it's just your daughter. So instead of putting them on the booth line where it's just in an ambiguous pot. If you are ordering cookies for your daughter's cookie booth up front, you will want to include those cookies on the line for the order card so that she is earning that initial order reward credit. If you don't, you're going to end up assigning that box credit later and it's only going to count towards the final reward items. OK. All right, the goal getter phase is going to be after you've submitted that initial order up until the time you get ready to pick up those um, physical boxes of cookies. Um, so during that time, you can continue to take orders using the goal getter order form or digital cookie. Um, and then you're going to actually come to pick up your cookies either on the 8th or 9th of February. There are only two dates, not three, not four, not five. Uh, you're going to have to make yourself available one of those two days and depending on what you chose in eBuddy, that's when you're going to want to go. Um, there ends up being roughly about seven locations to choose from uh, with a varied time schedule. Um, most of those sites are open from 9 a.m. till about 5 p.m. Um, and you'll be plugging yourself in one of those available time slots. OK, so you want to make sure that you're coming um, at that. Oh, thank you. During that time. Um, there is a suggested car size for the number of cases that you'll pick up um, and cases rounded up. So um, you are taking orders in individual boxes, right? Um, Ms. Johnson wants five boxes, Susie wants two, and Mr. Johnson wants eight. Those are individual boxes. Troops, however, only pick up 
um, cookies in full cases. eBuddy takes care of that rounding for you. So even on that initial order tab, when you're putting in all of that information, you'll see things rounding up at the bottom of your screen. So for instance, if you've put in everything that you've gotten from individual customers and you end up with um, 11 boxes of Samoas, it's gonna round you up to 12 boxes, which is a full case. And it will indicate that it's rounding to one full case and that you're gonna have one single box left over from the 12, right? You got 11 individual boxes, rounding up to a full case gives you one extra. You are still responsible for selling and managing those individual kind of leftover um, boxes um, because you are a troop and troops only pick up in full cases. So when you come to count and go, what you're picking up is exactly what eBuddy rounded up and clearly showed you on that initial order tab. So you are picking up um, cases of 12 um, of any particular variety. Um, the pickup slots for Count and Go are on a first come, first serve basis. So again, you're operating like any other troop. So every troop within our council jurisdiction is using the same process to choose their pickup um, date, time, and slot. So uh, just make sure you're paying attention to that. And again, don't wait to the last minute where you have a preferred location and there are no slots left where you end up having to go perhaps 30, 40 minutes, maybe out of the way. Um, this is a rain or shine uh, event. So cookies are on the ground. We usually have more than uh, 3 million uh, boxes of cookies that we're distributing uh, within these two days and they have to get into the hands of our troops and our girls so that those customers can get them. So regardless of the weather, uh, make sure you're prepared and available to be on site at your chosen location. Um, you'll need to come with enough vehicles to get your complete order. Um, so if the suggestion is telling you in eBuddy when you place that order that you need um, a minivan and a hatchback, then you need to come with a minivan and a hatchback. Uh, you will not be allowed to pick up a partial order um, every case associated with your troop, with your daughter, has to be picked up at one time. When you get there, you won't lift anything. You'll simply drive through a line. There'll be staff on site that will load your vehicles based on the ticket that we'll provide you, which comes straight out of eBuddy. You're going to count as they're loading your vehicle, and you're going to count as they're um, shifting things around. And if you're not really sure that you count it, you make sure you count again before you leave the property. Once you leave the property and sign the ticket, um, you're going to be responsible for paying for exactly what you signed off on. Okay. Wonderful. Um, so after you've got those cookies in hand comes that direct sale phase. So now you can start delivering to those initial order customers because you have their cookies and you can also uh, begin uh, setting up cookie booths if you so choose. And that's something you and your daughter want to do. OK, um, if you've exhausted the cookies that you've picked up from count and go and you need more, this will be the time where you have the availability to go to what we call a cookie cupboard and get additional cookies. Um, all of these instructions for how to do these processes are in your troop cookie guide, and I'm sure Zanetta will be sending you all reminders along the way. Um, but you will uh, request those additional cookies through eBuddy on the transactions tab. Uh, you'll put those in again in full cases. So a case of Samoas, a case of Dosi -si Dos. Uh, you'll have roughly about 15 locations to choose from at that point where you can go and pick up what you need to continue to sell to your friends and family. And again, at Cookie Booths if you so choose. Uh, if you do host cookie booths, we have lots of available uh, materials to hopefully help you all be successful. Uh, there's a promotional tabletop, five for 20. Uh, sounds like a great deal, doesn't it? Five boxes of cookies for $20. Um, uh, most people think they're getting a discount, but of course, at $4 a pop, five boxes is 20 bucks, but it's an easy and wonderful marketing resource. Um, you also have a tabletop display for 11 ups uh, to feature that new cookie. Uh, if you want to be able to take credit card payments at your booth uh, with no fees attached, uh, Greater Atlanta is offering a Clover 
um, app. If you join through us, we'll absorb those credit card fees just like we do for a digital cookie. Uh, and there's some information in your troop guide about that, but you can take credit cards at your booth and use your mobile phone or your tablet to do that. Um, we've also provided you with some uh, booth permission forms to be able to approach those businesses and schedule those dates and times with your Girl Scouts, as well as um, some lettering on letterhead. Just if you are making an ax for the first time and a little nervous about what to say, it kind of spells out the benefit, um, not just for your daughter and her learning, but for the business as well. And all of those tools are available on our website, and I see that Zanetta posted the link there for you to be able to get those items. So cookie booths are conducted at uh, lots of places. I'm sure you all have uh, passed a Girl Scout outside of a storefront uh, at some point in time. So these are just a couple of examples. Um, the council offers special booth locations. For instance, we have a relationship with the Simon Mall properties. So that would not be a business that you would approach um, because we already have a partnership with those. There are some other businesses which we have partnerships as well um, listed on page um, 33 uh, that we ask you all not to approach because we already have uh, relationships and schedules built into the calendar that we'll be offering through eBuddy as uh, signups for any troops, including you all, to take part of. So you can look out for some eBuddy emails letting you know when those are available. But you are more than welcome to go to your local grocery store, store schedule something at some sporting events, um, at a car wash, or some other places uh, to help your daughter reach her goal. You may also want to check in with your service unit. They tend to manage um, a lot of relationships within the community as well, so you're not stepping on toes. Uh, we do have agreements with um, Walmart that your service unit is automatically going to manage. And I know quite a few service units uh, do have a pre-built relationship with a lot of the Kroger's uh, where they'll get a full calendar of dates and times and offer those to the troops within their service unit so that there's only one point of contact for the store. Makes it a little easier and they typically do some type of lottery or raffle to give off those spaces. So just make sure you're checking in um, at some point with your service unit to see what's available uh, before going out and scheduling your own and making sure that you are uh, present at all times. I know you all are monitoring your own children, um, but please make sure you all are being um, safe um, and responsible with your child as well as the funds that are being um, passed over to you and your inventory. So at any point in time, for instance, if there needs to be a restroom break, you probably don't want to leave your table completely set up unless you have another adult um, there to help watch it. So um, consider all the things that need to happen if it is solely just you and your daughter at a booth to make sure you all are safe and protected, okay? Next. Okay, so before we go forward, we had a few questions about oh. will Juliet's be able sure. to book council arranged booths on <laughs> eBuddy? And from what I just heard, that answer is yes. That is yes. Um, you are all are functioning um, just like any other troop. Um, so when you see those messages go out from um, eBuddy saying, hey, there's opportunities, they're gonna go live Wednesday at nine o'clock. You sit down at your computer or you get on your phone on the eBuddy app, just like everybody else. And at nine o'clock, you need to be clicking on the buttons we told you to click on to reserve one of those spaces um, if you so choose. And you'll be able to host a booth just like anybody else. Um, so cookie cupboards, those are those locations I mentioned the where you'll be able to get additional cookies by the case um, uh, at your chosen um, area at your discretion. You get to choose when to pick up and where to pick up. Um, the cupboards are open during the weekdays um, and Saturdays. All of the cupboards are going to be closed on Sunday, so you won't be able to pick up cookies on a Sunday. So do some planning if you need some additional inventory. Uh, you need to make sure you always have your ID and know your eBuddy credentials. Um, this year, we're trying to reduce the amount of paper uh, in some instances that we give out. So a lot of the cupboards this year will 
uh, have electronic signing and you'll sign for your cookie pickups um, electronically with your eBuddy credentials. So if you're one of those people, uh, probably like me, who saved their password on all of their devices, uh, you'll actually need to know your password when you go to pick up your cookies at a cookie cupboard. So um, write it down somewhere, take a picture of it, memorize it, um, but you'll be signing for those electronically when you go to most places to pick up this year, okay? You want to update those orders throughout the system. So because you're functioning uh, as a traditional troop, when you go to the cupboard and pick up additional cookies, you are picking up more cookies for the troops inventory, right? Um, the troop just happens to be party of one, but eBuddy doesn't automatically know that. So when you pick those up, those cookies are sitting in a generic um, line for the troop. You will need to make sure that you actually go in there and credit your daughter with the number of boxes you just picked up. So for instance, if we go and pick up four cases of Samoas, my troop just picked up four cases of Samoas. Did my daughter pick up four cases? She didn't. Does she have credit for four cases? She does not. She will not have credit for those four cases until you actually go into eBuddy. And at this point, we'll be on the girls order tab where we're giving her additional box credit. I'm gonna have to click on my daughter's name. And for this purpose, she's gonna be Alexis. I'm gonna click on Alexis and I'm gonna give her credit for four cases, which is essentially 48 boxes, okay? Until I do that, she's not earning any rewards on anything I just picked up at the cupboard. So make sure you are doing that every single time you go back and get additional cookies. Um, there's a great um, line at the bottom of your um, eBuddy screen when you're looking at that girl order tab to tell you what's in the troops inventory and what's been distributed to every girl. Um, at the end of the day, you want your um, last line of that tab to equal zero, which is essentially saying you gave credit to every box picked up by the troop to a girl in your troop. Okay. So this just kind of sums up um, eBuddy, but it's it's everything. It's where you're going to sign your um, volunteer position description to serve as a troop cookie manager. Again, you're going to use those eBuddy credentials to sign for those extra cookies from a cupboard. Um, you're going to use um, them to uh, be able to see those girl delivery boxes from Digital Cookie. So it's imperative. If you haven't logged on to eBuddy yet, um, make sure you're handling those requirements ahead of time with Zanetta and that you're in there. You can see things. You can click on things because it's going to fuel everything that you do from here on out. Um, I'm going to answer I'm going to do this one slide and then I see a question in here about um, Clover. Um, is the Clover slide after this? I feel like it is. Yes. Okay, yes. wonderful. <laughs> so we'll talk about it all at once. Um, eBuddy has an online platform, of course, that you've been given a link to, I'm sure, but it also has a great app. So if you're one of those people who like to do things on your phone or a tablet, I highly suggest you download the app. You can do every single thing that you can do on the online platform um, with a couple of clicks on your phone, essentially. So to make sure you're not without um, a management tool, download the app now. It's all the same login credentials. You'll be able to operate the full uh, breadth of the program from beginning to end through the app. Ordering cookies, pressing that initial order, ordering rewards, um, tracking the money, everything is done. Even You can even distribute uh, box credit for your daughter at her cookie booth um, through the app. So it's a wonderful, wonderful tool to have. So accepting credit cards. Uh, again, Greater Atlanta has uh, opened this up to every single troop, including you all, uh, to be able to accept um, credit card payments um, at a booth uh, and at an individual girl level. And you all are doing uh, dual, dual role here, so that'll be really easy. Uh, the app is free. And we will be covering the transaction fees again, just like we do for digital cookie. Um, it's it's wonderful. Um, this is going to be linked directly to your account, um, not the council's account. So when you're out taking payments and this is for in person where you might want to take, um, you know, 
payment from grandma or auntie or the next door neighbor. Um, in addition to those at a cookie booth, this is linked to the account that you are um, entering here. Typically, it would be a troop account, but you are a party of one. So in this instance, it's going to be your personal um, account. OK. If you um, are interested and you haven't already signed up, you can do that at gsgatoclover.com. Um, it'll walk you through the requirements. You'll be able to see terms of use of what you're agreeing to do um, to sign up for it, how we expect it to be used. Once you complete the terms and agree to everything that we're asking, you'll be emailed a direct link to set up your Clover account as well as an instructional guide on how that operates uh, for you as a troop cookie manager and how it operates at the individual level um, for a girl and parent. Prior to those requirements, you'll see on the terms of use would require a troop to be an active troop with two co-leaders and at least one girl registered. You all will be the exception uh, because you are Juliet's and we already understand that you are uh, parties of one, uh, an ad one adult to one girl. Uh, so simply check that box on that terms anyway, because we are considering you all active troops for the purposes of the cookie program. Um, as a, can you go to the next slide, Zanetta? Um, as one of the main requirements, because this is going through um, council and we are absorbing um, fees uh, associated with those transactions, the adult setting up the account has to be a registered member. So if you are not a Girl Scout member at this point, you will need to complete membership registration, which is $25, um, to be able to connect and get the um, app through Greater Atlanta that we're offering where we are absorbing the fees. OK, let me see what's in the chat. Um, I think I answered that. So there was one question that said my Clover account has me linked to our old troop. How mm -hmm. do we change that? And yeah, if you'll send me an email at clover at gsgatl.org, we can get that switched over. So make sure you provide your name, um, your email address, and the old troop number that you need to be removed from. And if the troop is still functioning and you happen to know who's taking over for you, if you have that information, if you can provide me that name, that way I can just take you off and put them on. Okay. Awesome, thank you. I went ahead and put that in the chat log that clover at gsgatl.org and those details that are necessary. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, so managing the money. Uh, first off you all, that looks are going to um, complete the electronic payment authorization form and there'll be a direct link in the presentation on the next slide. So if you haven't done it, you'll want to do it. This is how we expect all troops to pay. Um, it is required. Um, you're going to sign your parent permission form, which you already have done. I'm sure most of you haven't. And if you didn't, I'm sure Zanetta will be contacting you very soon. Uh, you'll want to review the payment expectations and the scheduled dates. When you uh, log on to that electronic payment authorization form, you'll see terms of use there. You'll want to open those up. You'll want to read it. It'll outline um, when we expect to take those payments. Um, and what they'll be, as well as um, consequences. So just like paying your light bill or your mortgage late, um, there are late fees. They're not excessive, but they are in place to make sure um, that we're being accountable. Uh, we are giving away essentially uh, millions of dollars of cookies on credit uh, to every single troop participating. So you wanna set clear expectations on when you get that inventory that you're being responsible, collecting that from customers, putting it in a safe place and making sure that it's available to pay counsel um, in the needed time, okay? So there's the link uh, that you can click on. This is what the form looks like. Uh, for your service unit, you're gonna wanna choose GSG ATL Juliet's. Uh, from the drop down menu and then you're going to use the troop number that Zanetta is assigning to you uh, from eBuddy as your troop number. Um, the rest is all of your contact information, your name, your phone number, your email address and the bank account from which we'll be able to withdraw those funds. Uh, once you submit that, you'll be good to go. Uh, and I will tell you 
now because it's not on the screen. Uh, there are two withdrawals for the program. We'll take the first withdrawal on March 4th. And that's going to be 60% um, of that initial cookie order. So those are going to be physical boxes that you picked up at Count and Go, minus any deposits that came over through Digital Cookie. So remember, I said that Digital Cookie is talking to eBay, and you're automatically seeing those payment um, credits in the system. That's because that Digital Cookie money is being paid essentially uh, directly to Greater Atlanta. So we're automatically posting that payment credit in eBay for you systematically. So if you're doing um, in-person sales as well as those online sales, we want to make sure that we're giving you a uh, credit for both and, um, you know, giving you a little bit of break because we're already collecting money from you ongoingly online. So again, that March 4th payment is 60% of the payment needed for those physical boxes you would have picked up at Count and Go minus any digital cookie deposits um, that have posted to your troops account up through February 22nd. On March 27th, we'll be taking the remaining balance due council, which will include what you'll see listed in eBuddy as troop proceeds. Because you all are parties of one, uh, and for the purposes of the cookie program, we're making you a troop, but you're not truly a troop because there's only one girl. Um, those proceeds are Juliet proceeds. And in order to put those in the Juliet pot, we need to withdraw all of the funds um, that you've collected. So essentially, we'll be collecting money for every $4 uh, per box that you've collected, $6 a box that you've collected. Um, so at the end of the day, that's going to be zero. OK. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much, Sarnithia. That was You're awesome. Um, if you have any other questions about any of the topics here, um, you are welcome to email myself um, and I can get you those answers and cookies at gsgatl.org um, if you have questions pertaining to the cookie program as well. So with no further ado, I'm going to just take back over here and talk about some fun things with our last eight minutes. Um, so we're going to talk about rewards. So I'm not sure if any of you participated in the Juliet cookie program last year, um, but we did have a reward specifically for Juliet's. So we will continue that this year. This year, our reward for Juliet's who even sell just one box of cookies is a main event time together. So I know a lot of our Juliet's um, don't necessarily get the opportunity to meet each other or have that community. So we did want to offer um, an event that they are able to do that. And that will be at no cost to any Juliet who sells one box of cookies. Um, we're scheduling that for May 2020. If you aren't familiar with main event, I can also put a link uh, to main event there, but it's fun. It has like bowling, laser tag, arcade. We'll have pizza, drinks. Um, if there's any dietary restrictions, we'll account for that as well. Um, but this is specifically for girls in the Juliet program. So um, keep that in mind along the program. We'll also have a variety of traditional awards. Um, all of these rewards, again, are cumulative. As Sarnithia mentioned earlier, if a girl earns um, at a lower level and continues up the ladder of earning, she earns all of the rewards that are below that level, including the Juliet reward of the main event. So these are some of our awesome rewards for this year. As you can see, a Nintendo Switch is up there, um, some tablets, a hoodie, um, a hoverboard. So we have some really cool uh, rewards this year that we're excited to bring. Um, we also have rewards if you participate in Smiles for Military. Um, if you do 20 Smiles for Military boxes, all the way up to 150 Smile for Military boxes, uh, there's a variety of rewards here for that. Juliet's will also get to participate in troop rewards, right? Because even though she is a troop of one, she mm -hmm. is still technically a troop. Um, so if you select for her to participate in this reward, she can earn um, a booth sale patch if she does five booths in eBuddy. 
um, or if she has a final order of 220 boxes, there's even a reward for you as the volunteer. <laughs> so um, as our adults, you guys can earn a t-shirt or bandana um, for each of the girls selling. For you guys, that would be one. If you have two girls, you may get two. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, there are some rewards there for you as well, incentive. My favorite is the initial order of 175 boxes and you get cookie trays, which you can use at home on your own or you can use them um, during your booth. Should you, oh, well you can use them during your booth because you have to get them as your reward. Um, but you can oh, use them next year. They'll get to pick them up. All of the initial order rewards, in addition to the girl items, if they're earning this, they'll get they'll pick those trays up at Count and Go. Oh, February. look at that. So you could use them um, at your booth. So that's awesome. Thank you so much for that input, Sarnethia. Um, so those are some of the troop rewards. We also have our Cookie CEO event. This year, it will be at the Georgia Aquarium. Um, and you can choose between $100 in cookie dough or the evening at the Georgia Aquarium. Um, and that's for the girl and one guest on May 16th. And the big kahuna here, we have the Universal Studios Islands of Adventure or Volcano Bay. We actually have two uh, trip rewards this year, um, which those earning levels are listed there as well as the dates. Um, this is really exciting for me. I had just went to Universal Studios over the holiday and I truly, truly suggest you guys uh, look at this as a goal because it really is a great time um, for everyone. Um, there are some other resources that will be available to you as the adult. Um, and so that is available through littlebrowniebakers.com. This is an online tool for you guys to help plan your girl's cookie season with her. Um, so you can look at this website for just extra tools, videos, marketing suggestions, and it can be uh, tailored by your girl's age level. Um, so feel free to visit littlebrowniebakers.com for a cookie season planner or a cookie VIP e-learning. So um, one of our last slides before we wrap up here is a calendar. This is really important, right? Because we want to know when we're supposed to do what. Uh, this consolidates the cookie program into one document and you'll see what's available now all the way through when rewards begin to ship. Um, so this is a great tool for you to review as you go through your program to make sure that you're on track with uh, where you are in the process. So now what do I do, right? I went to this awesome webinar. I have all these logins I need to do. Let's all take one deep breath together. We have all learned a lot. We've gotten very far. Um, we're taking the correct steps. Let's take a breather. Um, next, you probably want to check out eBuddy and go ahead and uh, get that set up. Download that app, which is a great tool and complete your electronic payment form. The link for that payment form is here in the chat. Uh, box so feel free to scroll there and look for it and of course I'll always email you guys with that link and then knowing where to find your help right so sometimes it's not necessarily the question it's where to find the answer and that best place to find your answer is in your cookie resource website that's going to have your links your emails your downloads and printables and that uh, resource link is here as well as in your chat box um, you're probably going to mention it, but I want to reiterate that you're even outside of the website. Your best tool is that Troop Cookie Guide. Um, we've tried to outline about 95% of what the cookie program comprises of um, as best we can, especially when it comes to eBuddy. Um, the steps you need to take to do things, the buttons you need to click. So make sure you're walking through that and referencing some of those pages throughout to make sure you're staying on top of uh, what needs to happen. Exactly. I've relinked the Troop Manager cookie guide here at the bottom. Um, for those who need to click that, you're welcome to download it and resource um, this. Uh, once we finish this presentation, we are going to go ahead and save it. We have been recording, as we mentioned earlier, and once it's saved and we go through and have it, make sure it's edited and everything, uh, we'll link it um, to be sent out via email 
if that's possible, or we'll reach out to you with the next steps for how we will distribute this webinar. Um, because I know a few of you guys may want to log back in and review the presentation or check out some of the topics that were key to you. Um, so are there any other questions? We're right at seven o'clock now. If there are any other questions, we'll just take a moment for the chat log to populate. <coughs> well, awesome. We are so excited to have you all as part of this Juliet program. Thank you, thank you for logging in and taking this time. Um, let your girls know uh, that they're in great hands with you. And if you all have any questions, you're welcome to email me. Um, we're happy to have you. Thank you all for attending and have a great rest of your evening.